Hey everyone, welcome to today's DIY bathroom makeover on a budget. I am so excited to be sharing this bathroom refresh with you. As you can tell, I am sharing the before clips and this bathroom was so bland, so boring. If you're new here, I'm Becca. I'm a mom to three boys and a military spouse and this is my boys bathroom. So today we are starting off with this piece of wood that I bought at Lowe's. I just bought a really big piece of wood, picked out the most inexpensive, affordable piece of wood, and I had an idea that I wanted to cut it into three separate pieces because I wanted to build shelves first off. And then I also was thinking about building a towel rack and I was originally going to just cut a piece of wood and go ahead and drill the towel hooks on it. I ended up changing my mind later and going with what my gut was telling me the whole time and it ended up being a huge transformation so make sure you stay it till the end to see that. I'm always trying to do things cost effectively but sometimes you have to spend a little bit more just to do exactly what the vision is in your head. So to build these shelves, we are going to sand everything down before we start staining them. If you're new here, I am working on my boys' bathroom. I have three sons and they all share, it's kind of like a Jack and Jill style bathroom. And I've been wanting to do their bathroom for so long and just put a touch of like moody, masculine vibe to it because it was really bland and boring as you could see. And I've been wanting to just put a touch on this bathroom for so long and I'm so happy that I finally did it. I'm so, obsessed with how it turned out it just looks so good Now that the wood is all sanded down, we are going to clean it off before we start staining it. You really want to make sure that you get all of the debris and dirt and everything off of it because it will affect the stain or if you're painting it, it will affect painting it. So you really want to make sure you get the boards clean. I'm just taking a damp paper towel to it and just really wiping it down real good. This is the stain that I picked up at Lowe's. I always use the Minowax stain, and this was the pickled oak. And I really wanted the boards to just have a slight staining to them. I wanted them to look more natural, if anything, because the bathroom where the tub and the toilet is, that was where the shelves were gonna be going, and there's no windows in there, so I was already doing a dark shower curtain. I'm gonna do a dark accent wall, so I really just wanted to make sure that other pieces were light to keep the space light, but this really just didn't do anything. It didn't even look like it did anything. So I went ahead and got a little resourceful and just started mixing stains that I had in my garage just to give it a little touch of a color, but nothing overbearing, still keeping it really light and it worked out. So don't ever be afraid to experiment. I also tested this after I mixed it, I tested it on another piece of wood that I wouldn't be using just to make sure and it was perfect. Okay, so this is the wall I was talking about. This wall 
it's just obviously there's nothing going on it's across from the toilet and across from the shower and it's just a big wall and i had decided that it had been sitting in my brain for a while i really wanted to do a b board on this wall and i kept talking myself out of it and kept saying just do something inexpensive don't make this any bigger than it needs to be but it still was just in my head. You know, when you get something in your head and you really wanna do it. So it was still bugging me and I decided, you know what? I'm gonna do it now because I'm gonna regret not doing it and I'm gonna regret having to go back and do it later. So let's just do it now. So we went to Lowe's and picked up some beadboard and picked up some wood and got to work on this wall. I have never done beadboard before. I have done the board and batten in many different rooms and usually that is my go-to, but for some reason, I don't know, I had a vision in my head with the beadboard and I really wanted to give it a try, which I'm so happy I did because it looked so good. Definitely was a little bit harder to do because there was just a little bit more work put into it when it comes to like caulking and all of that stuff because it is taking up the whole wall rather than the board and batten that is just kind of like slabs of wood that goes across but we decided to top off the beadboard with a piece of two by four i believe this is yes this is a two by four and i knew that i wanted to use this for the towel racks and i just loved the idea i'd seen a vision like this on instagram and i loved how it looked so i went ahead and rolled with this idea Now that everything is secure and in place, I'm gonna go back over and I'm just gonna wipe everything down before we start caulking and painting and get it all cleaned up because you do wanna make sure that all the, the debris is like off before you paint and all of that stuff. So we're just gonna give it a good cleanup. This is the caulking and the caulk gun that I will be using to do this wall. I swear by caulking because it really is the best way to do your seams. You wanna make sure that you caulk them so that you are able to close those seams. And once you paint and everything, they are no longer noticeable. So I like to do it on all of the seams like connected to the wall, on the sides of the wall. And then of course, where we connected the pieces of beadboard, that caulking would, will make a huge difference so that you don't even notice that it's different pieces of beadboard. My husband did cut this caulk a little bit too wide, so it made a little bit more of a mess than I would have preferred, but we may do and made it work. And if you have a mess with the caulking, you can always just grab water, like you can grab, I have a baby wipe, you could do a wet paper towel, well like a damp paper towel, and just clean it up before it dries.
I did go ahead and caulk the holes from the nail gun in the wood. I don't typically suggest doing this, but I had no wood filler on hand and I didn't feel like running to the store to go get any. So I just made do with the caulk, but the wood filler would always be a more seamless look. I just honestly didn't care that much, but in the future I will definitely use wood filler instead of caulking. But we did need to sand that down a little bit. Now that everything is all sanded down and cleaned up, we are going to go in with this Valspar Rugged Suede Paint. I'm going to be using these rollers, the Valspar Walls and Ceilings, and this little trimmer, which ended up working out really well, and I'm excited to use it more in the future, too. If you've been around for a while, you probably recognize this paint. I actually used this same paint color on the board and batten in my two younger boys' room. I really like this paint color. My husband really likes it. I feel like it's moody and masculine, which is exactly what I was going for. It matches the shower curtain really well, so I figured that since I already have it on hand, instead of wasting money to buy more paint, I would just go ahead and use this in the bathroom as well. And it'll also tie the bedroom and the bathroom together. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, painting this beadboard was very difficult. You will notice in some of the clips here that whenever you roll the paint on it, it's hard to get it in the cracks of the beadboard. As you can see, there are a lot of cracks. So it was kind of tedious having to go through and making sure I was like getting inside them and there was no more white spots.
I did end up doing two coats on the wood and on the beadboard, but to save you guys the agony of boring painting, I only showed you the first coat just for, you know, the transformation purposes, but I did end up having to do two coats, but two coats was plenty. I just don't know, I just don't know if I'll dance with the lights on, if you're gonna be moving on solo, wait a second cause they're playing the best song, I'll be there if you reach out to me. Now that that's all dry, we are going to hang up the hooks. I got these hooks off of Amazon and I will link whatever I can down in the description box down below for you to easily find if I can link them or find them. A lot of things were off Amazon, but I found these on Amazon and I love this style for the boys bathroom. It's not always my go-to type of style, but I really wanted to do, like I said, something masculine and modern mid-century. Next, we are going to hang the shelves. I only am showing hanging one of the shelves because when we hung the second shelf, I put the camera down and let Tristan help my youngest. He really wanted to help dad do the screws and the drill. He's three and he thought it was the coolest thing. So I put the camera down and let him help us hang the second shelf. Now that everything is hung and in place and painted and all of that, we are going to decorate the bathroom. I'm going to be decorating the my two younger boys side of the vanity and then I'm also going to be decorating obviously the main bathroom part but as far as my oldest son his vanity side I did hang a hook in there and I did have one of these trays as well but I give him more privacy and I figured I would do that one off camera but we did go ahead and hang one of those hooks up here for the towel rack because we did not have a towel holder for the vanity area for you know tooth brushing teeth brushing and for like washing cans and stuff and then I also ordered some signs off Etsy and I thought that this sign was super cute and fitting for a boys bathroom this is the shower curtain that I picked up at TJ Maxx it was super affordable and I love the design of it I love the color like I said this color really complements the wall so it was very fitting This bath mat I bought at Target and it was a little bit of a splurge. I want to say it was $20 or $25, but this bath mat is seriously so soft and thick and plush. I will definitely be getting one for my bathroom next. All of the towels are from Target as well. I literally picked up the least expensive towels that Target had. I think these were only a few dollars and then the same for the hand towel the gray hand towel in the boys bathroom all of them are from target and they were the cheapest towels i could find and i actually really liked them because they didn't have a lot of seam work on them which is what i was looking for i also picked up these little containers from amazon i knew i wanted something for my two younger boys they like these little bath bombs and then of course like q-tips so i thought that was perfect for the shelves. When decorating space, I really like to err on the side of using things that are 
meant for the space and resourceful. I really just don't like to have a lot of clutter and stuff that doesn't make sense like candlesticks and greenery of course is beautiful but other than that I really like to make whatever I put on these shelves to be something that you really typically would need in this space. This trash can is also from Target and it literally was only a few dollars. I thought it would fit in this little nook just perfectly. All right, friends, let's look at some before so we can remember where this bathroom started. I am so pleased with how this bathroom came out. It was such a big transformation and we just really put our own personal touch on it and it's another room down that just feels more like home and more like us. I wanna thank you so much for choosing to click on this video today. Thank you so much for watching. Share this video with somebody you know would enjoy it. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye. Would you let me get to know you? Ooh, I, I, I feel your paper thin.